Good evening guys and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny faces guys. I will admit I was insanely lazy today. Um, I almost and hardly got anything done today. Um, I, I did my German lesson and I think that was pretty much it. Um, my, I don't know, Matthew pretty much I think finished making the gingerbread cookies. My mom frosted all of the sugar cookies and then Jack made dinner for tonight um, because he had to anyway for his foods class. And um, my mom ended up actually pre-making dinner for tomorrow and also um, made like, I don't know, like um, apples sort of, like cinnamon apples sort of. Um, and she ended up doing that so and then i'm over here like yeah i spent two days straight pretty much doing nothing but baking cookies and making the cookies and the, doing the dough and all that kind of stuff and like saturday was horrible i like honestly don't think i even sat down at all on saturday and then on sunday like yesterday for the church service in the Bears game, which was like in the morning up until, I think the Bears game was over maybe two, three, three o'clock, something like that, I think it ends. Um, like was the only time I really was sitting down. Yesterday I was doing all of the baking for the cookie, well, I don't know if we baked any, but I did all of the rest of the dough. So I think there's only still one type of dough left that's in the fridge that still needs to be baked, which is those almond, like, crescent cookies or almond horn cookies. Um, the Martha Stewart recipe book that we did called them almond horn cookies. My mom called them crescent cookies. So, um, yeah, there was that. But, yeah, I didn't end up editing today. I didn't upload anything today. Um, I was... Like I said, super, super lazy. I actually didn't wake up really late. Like I woke up, I think around 9.30 or something like that. Honestly, my alarm started going off at eight o'clock or whatever, and I was pretty much up from that point on. I really ended up falling back asleep, and I went to bed early last night too, I think I was telling you guys. I think I was in bed and asleep like before, like I think I fell asleep around like 11 or 11.30. I was just wiped out. <laughs> Um, from this weekend and so then today too I was just sort of like I'm gonna just be lazy today um, So hopefully tomorrow I can get some of those things that I know I'm going to need to get done before You know like Christmas like I didn't get to any laundry so I need to do laundry um, Again too because there were some baking and cooking things that were going on today. There's some dishes but I pretty much was caught up actually with like all the dishes like yesterday afternoon I think there was only like maybe one or two things in the sink that were dirty um and other than that like everything was pretty much taken care of so the dishes were like all caught up with but then again because today there was like I said my mom pre-made dinner for tonight Jack ended up cooking dinner from scratch which he made a really good um like a alfredo sauce from scratch um which was in from his uh like I said his foods class that he had to do ended up doing that for dinner so obviously again there was a lot of different things that got dirty um and then my mom ended up I don't know she ended up doing a whole bunch of stuff she, she was actually watching like I think honestly it's like called food ink or something like that or I don't know it was like a documentary I remember watching it I don't know maybe when I was in high school or something like that I think it's an older documentary my mom was like talking about it and I was like I think it's the same one that I watched so um it's something about like that, like about food waste and stuff. And, um, you know, I feel like that's kind of my concept when I do freezer dinners and all that kind of stuff is because I want to buy this stuff when it's on sale at the cheapest price and then use it and, you know, make sure that it's not going to go bad by making sure that we freeze it and all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, because so much stuff, you know, that's perishable, like meats and, you know, vegetables and stuff like that, um, you know, will wind up going bad if, you know, they, we don't use them in a timely manner. So, like, for me, doing everything all in the freezer dinner that's convenient then, and all I have to do, instead of, like, a day where, you know, like, 
let's say yesterday we were doing you know or saturday when we were doing all the baking and all the cooking and stuff like that and we would have just ended up being like okay you know what we're completely you know like exhausted and you know there's no time to make something homemade or from scratch or whatever um you know it's just easy to be like hey just throw one of the freezer dinners that's already made in the crock pot and we'll have dinner ready for you know by the time you know it's dinner time and we don't have to worry about all of that kind of stuff so um you know like i said it's just like one of those convenient things but it's also sort of on that concept of like not wasting food because if you know that it's something that you can turn into you know like i said my my thought is always to like okay well we have this thing we have hamburger buns or something like that um you know i want to i have freezer dinners that go along with that and while the hamburger buns are the perishable things those can still be frozen too but you know like sort of like i said that concept of like you know making sure that perishable things don't wind up getting thrown away or even non-perishables too if they've you know been sitting for too long um but you know all that kind of stuff canned things and frozen stuff and things like that normally will wind up staying good for a long time um definitely within the time that we'll use them but you know like breads and um you know like i was saying too like dairy um and and produce and all that kind of stuff can a lot of times go bad faster so it's just using it up um you know before that time and so if i have stuff that I know pairs along with that kind of stuff that's out in the freezer I can make sure that I use that up when it's cheap it's on sale and I buy it and then also too so we don't wind up wasting my mom was like going through everything to try and figure out how she can use up like you know she's like we have a ton of potatoes let's she made potato soup that was what it was so again there was a whole ton of things that like you know ended up prompting her to do this too she's like we have a bunch of apples she's like and I don't and like a couple of them had like a bruise or two on them and so she's like let's turn these into you know like cinnamon apples because she'll just cut the bruised part out and I mean you can cut the bruised part out anyway and eat them but you know if they're getting a little older too and they're kind of softer like turning them into cinnamon apples is how you can you know because like I don't know I don't like to eat apples I guess when they're, when they're real mushy and been you know like I said a week or two um when they've been maybe sitting out for a couple weeks um you know and they're not again like super firm or anything like that and we normally leave our apples sit out we don't put them in the fridge and so um you know they'll wind up going bad faster because of that too but my mom was like you know what we can turn this into you know i suggested like applesauce or something like that too because that's again too if you have older apples you can turn that if you have brown bananas you can turn that into banana bread you can use them in smoothies and freeze them um and then again too with apples you can turn it into applesauce and just have to like peel the skin um on the apples and then you know like i said and, and cut them up sort of and dice them but you can turn those into applesauce or again cinnamon apples whatever um so yeah <laughs> anyways that was what my mom ended up doing so she got inspired by watching that um so yeah guys but i need to try and get to you know like i said some stuff because it is what is Christmas Eve is on Thursday so I got two days pretty much a worth of time that I can really get to a lot of you know like extra you know like I said that stuff that needs to get done the laundry the dishes because you know that on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day you're not gonna want to be doing that stuff like you know it is you know already a day filled with you know probably having to wake up early and like last year we stayed up playing Monopoly I think until like one or two or three in the morning i don't remember how late it was i just remember being exhausted because we stayed up super late to play monopoly and then ended up going to bed late on christmas eve and then woke up like still somewhat early i think on christmas day but like almost christmas day by the time like five o'clock rolls around i'm like is it time for bed yet like is it isn't an acceptable time to go to bed now on christmas day because i'm tired um you know so yeah that's why i just i don't want to you know have a whole bunch of stuff that i didn't get to you know earlier in the week then wind up waiting until the end of the week when it's christmas and being like oh yeah all those dishes that are stacked up everywhere oh yeah um, nobody's got any clean pants to wear <laughs> you know that kind of thing so um yeah gonna have to make sure that i actually buckle down and get that done i was just really tired and i don't know see i don't really think i got too much sleep but like i think i was just like you know like i said still sort of exhausted from like yesterday and you know just like physically tired too because like today my shoulders and all that kind of stuff wasn't hurting but like i had my neck was like seriously like 
felt messed up from like I don't know what I was doing really like I said I mean mo the KitchenAid for the most part did most of the mixing I didn't do a whole ton of like hand mixing or you know any of that kind of stuff so I don't really know what it was but you know I'm thinking just from stuff <laughs> doing things um you know that involved that and also too I think I was telling you guys being on my feet and not in comfortable shoes um which I was yesterday so that was good too and I didn't spend as much time up and about um as I did really on Sunday but that was one of those things where I was like yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that I wore comfy shoes on Saturday at least so I think that helped too my back wasn't hurting my neck wasn't hurting today or anything like that but I think that I'm just physically like exhausted because again too then we ran out to the grocery stores on Saturday me and Matthew ran out to go do Christmas shopping on Saturday came home did all the cookies on Saturday did all the other cookies yesterday um you know and then today I was like I'm I need to rest <laughs> you know I need to be able to be productive to get again those other things that I know have to get done the laundry and the dishes and all that stuff um you know and probably clean the bathroom tomorrow too um just because i normally do those on tuesdays anyway you know hopefully i can be more productive tomorrow because i didn't it <laughs> wasn't very productive today um but i feel like that's the trade-off you rest one day and then you can be productive the other days right um and I, like i said too i felt tired like by like nine o'clock today again i was like i want to go to bed again <laughs> and it's um now almost midnight um so anyways though i will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys